Red Sparrow is a spy action thriller released in March of 2018. It was directed by Francis Lawrence and starred Jennifer Lawrence in the title role. From the cast, the director and the fact that it was an adaptation of a popular book, it should have been an indication that this film would be a success. But from watching the film, you'll see that even though all these aspects are pretty well done, the film fails in one place more than any other, and that's the story. I wanted to see what could be done with this film. Could a few screenplay changes make this film that much better? Let's see. Welcome to Rewriting Red Sparrow. Before I get into the changes, let's go over the story of Red Sparrow. So for anyone who hasn't seen it, there will be full spoilers in this video, so if you want, you can go and watch the movie before seeing this video. Red Sparrow is a tale about a ballerina being forced by her uncle into becoming a sparrow, who are Russian agents that seduce their targets for information. She is sent on a mission to find the identity of a mole working for America, so we are left to figure out who Jennifer Lawrence's character is really working for, and whether or not she actually loves Joel Edgerton's character. It ends with Jen becoming a mole for America herself, and showing her faith towards Russia by naming the original mole. However, she doesn't name the real mole, she names her uncle. This is a very brief telling of the story and you'll notice it has potential, but it's the execution of the film that brought everything down. So let's get into some details and what could have been done to make this a better movie. The first problem with the movie is right at the start, the introduction. In this 5-10 to 10 minute scene we are introduced to Jen, her sick mother, her uncle, Joel Edgerton's character and the man who will be revealed to be the mole. It's an extremely messy scene that feels like clips from different movies being badly stitched together. There are many unnecessary characters introduced, like Joel, who isn't even in the movie after this for about half an hour. It all ends with Jen getting a leg injury and the title Red Sparrow. To see what I would have done differently, I need to tell you about the things that are revealed about Jen's backstory. We learn later on in the film that Jen dreamed of being a dancer since she was a child, and how her uncle wanted to use her from an early age. My question is, why wasn't this shown? The original intro doesn't do anything to make us relate to Jen's character, so I would have shown Jen as a child, growing up and training to become a dancer, and shown how important it is to her. Show her mother becoming sick and show her uncle's creepy interests. End the scene with her leg injury for much more impact. This way we already empathise with the main character a lot more and it makes the scene much more cohesive. The other characters should have been introduced when they become relevant to Jen's story. The next part of the movie that feels like a major problem to me are the scenes in Berlin. This is when she goes to do her first mission with Joel. In these scenes, we are introduced to a lot more characters and storylines that don't do anything for the main character or the plot overall. There isn't time to develop them well enough so they shouldn't be there. This time should have been used to focus more on Jen and Joel's relationship. And with their relationship, the film makes Jen's true intentions and feelings unclear to the audience. I don't think this works well at all either. It makes us question her true intentions while so many other things are going on and really creates a barrier between us and the main character. So I would have made it obvious that she loves him, and this way the scene where Jen is torturing Joel would be much more intense and emotional because we know what she is doing to save his life. The last part of the movie I want to talk about and change is the character of the uncle. It is very clear that this man is the antagonist of the film, but he is given barely any time. As I said, he should be shown as a major part of Jen's life from her childhood, but the rest of the film should have shown his control and made it really clear that he forced her to become a prostitute for the government. I would have also added another layer to his character by making him the mastermind behind Jen's leg injury at the start of the film. This way, when she'd find out, it would be the driving force for her revenge and being something that the audience would be behind her on, making the finale of framing her uncle as the mole much more dramatic and emotional. So overall in the rewrite, I would give much more time to the characters that actually matter to the story and not on unnecessary side characters and plot lines. I would have focused on the story of a character being tragically robbed of her dreams by her uncle and then getting her revenge on him in a huge plot and I would have made the romance with Joel the subplot of the movie. I think this works much better as an emotional character driven story rather than your average spy thriller that nobody can connect with. This is how I would rewrite Red Sparrow. Thanks for watching the video guys, make sure to subscribe if you want more content like this, I do have a lot more videos planned like this one for other movies, so tell me what you think in the comments below and like if you liked the video.